If you don't remember your dreams, then that is a clear indicator of a very specific vitamin deficiency. In this video, I will talk about what vitamin you're lacking, the exact symptoms, and how to avoid this deficiency. First things first, a lack of dream recall, so not remembering your dreams is not normal. I know a lot of people have it, so they think it's nothing to worry about, but it actually kind of is. The good news is that because it's such a specific symptom, we can also directly tie it to a specific vitamin deficiency. And that vitamin is B6. Vitamin B6, which is also known as pyridoxin, is a water-soluble vitamin that is involved in many metabolic functions in your body. Some examples include food digestion, liver function, and also neurotransmitter production. It is this last role, so neurotransmitter production, that also ties it to dream recall. Because vitamin B6 is a critical cofactor for the synthesis of the neurotransmitters serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is important for mood regulation and melatonin helps regulate your sleep and wake cycles. Now, what many people don't know is that serotonin is actually a precursor to melatonin. So your body converts serotonin to manufacture melatonin. Because vitamin B6 is a cofactor for your serotonin production, a vitamin B6 deficiency can lower your serotonin levels, which then in turn also lower your melatonin levels. Another important neurotransmitter pathway that vitamin B6 influences is acetylcholine production. Acetylcholine is not as well known as serotonin or melatonin, but it's still a very important neurotransmitter in your body. In fact, it is the primary neurotransmitter that your parasympathetic nervous system uses. So that part of your nervous system that is responsible for the rest and digest reflex. Healthy acetylcholine levels help control learning ability, attention, and also memory. So it makes sense that it is also involved in your ability to remember your dreams. Acetylcholine is produced from choline, which is a vitamin B-like substance that you get from your diet, through an enzyme called choline acetyltransferase. This enzyme is vitamin B6 dependent, so without it, it won't do its job properly. Now, of course, all of this is just theory. What does it look like in practice? There are several studies that have shown how vitamin B6 supplementation can improve both dream recall and overall sleep quality. The first study on this actually concluded that taking vitamin B6 significantly increased the amount of dream content that participants recalled but did not significantly affect dream vividness, bizarreness, or color. While I agree with the first part, so the positive benefits of vitamin B6 related to your sleep quality and dream recall, I completely disagree with the second part. We've seen in many cases that over-supplementing vitamin B6, especially in the form of P5P, can lead to some very crazy dreams. One practitioner summarized the symptoms as follows. When someone has very low serotonin or very low B6, there is absolutely no dream recall. When the levels are low, there is awareness of dreams, but no details. As the level goes up, the amount of recall increases and the quality of dreams improves too. When the levels are good, your dream recall will be good. Details, color, lots of recall. When you're taking too much, your dreams become trippy. Seriously. You'll know them when you experience them. This is also my experience, which is why I now want to give you a few recommendations on how to safely bring up your vitamin B6 levels again. First and foremost, you want to start slow and with a low dose of a few milligrams. You also need to keep in mind that vitamin B6 comes in two main forms. The normal form of pyridoxine hydrochloride and the more active and more potent form P5P pyridoxal 5-phosphate. Normal B6 needs to first be converted into P5P to become active. And this is also why most people tolerate higher doses of it, because your body can somewhat downregulate the conversion of normal B6 to P5P to counter side effects. But if you take bioactive P5P, then there is no conversion and it will be directly put to use. For people with difficulty activating B6, P5P should be the go-to option. But like I said before, there is the potential for more side effects. Also, when you're taking B6 and getting any type of effect, both positive and negative, 
you always want to think about two things. Pyroluria, which is a condition that is related to vitamin B6, and copper toxicity. I explain both in more detail in different videos that I will link. Also, I should say one thing before I wrap up this video. Most people don't just have one deficiency. Deficiencies usually don't come in isolation. So chances are you don't just have a vitamin B6 deficiency, but maybe also a magnesium or zinc deficiency. All these can be checked for. So definitely make sure to get your nutrient levels tested correctly.